Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and thanks so much for stopping back by for a late night upload. I appreciate you taking the time to come back by the channel. Now in today's video guys, we have even more proof. I'd even say almost indisputable proof. Kevin the Cube is going to come back to Fortnite later this season or maybe to start the next season. It's absolutely wild. I had to make a video. I wasn't planning to make one tonight, but when I saw this, I had to get on it. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, okay? So you don't miss out on any awesome exclusive content like this the second it comes out. Also, a huge shout out to these guys for using my support a creator code in the Fortnite item shop. Make sure you throw my code on there if you're ever buying any skins or V-Bucks or anything like that and send me a screenshot to be featured in the next video. So let me give you guys quickly an item shop update. Earlier today in the item shop, this skin dropped. The Maven skin, it's kind of like a math teacher, I guess. It's a part of like the calculator set or something like that, but it looks extremely cool and it's only 1200 V-Bucks, meaning it's one of the cheaper skins almost one of the cheapest skins you could possibly ask for and I think it's awesome and I think it's very much worth the 1200 V bucks another great thing about the whole set is it's all cheap including the glider including the axe just overall it's a very friendly skin bundle to get I mean if you were going to get an entire bundle this is one of the ones to possibly consider because a it's actually a good looking set a good looking skin and also it's one of the cheaper ones you could find so in the comment section down below I want to know do you think this skin is good I'd give it an 8 out of 10 I like to see what you guys give it on a scale of 1 to 10 as well so if you've been keeping up with the Fortnite story and keeping up with my videos recently, you'll know there is a big speculation about Kevin the Cube coming back, mostly because on New Year's Eve for the event, the disco ball came down with the same kind of runes Kevin had all over him, and also there is this piece of one of his rune sites underneath the castle at Polar Peak. So. Obviously, those are pretty strong points, and I thought there could always be a chance Kevin could come back, but after that, that sparked a huge discussion. Now, in the past 24 hours, it looks as though there has been another hint, and it's very easy, and I need you guys to do your part and help me out here, and let me know if you guys see the same thing. So, here is my lobby loading screen. Notice anything strange in the background? It looks almost as if Kevin the Cube is right there in plain sight. Now, I don't think this could be anything else. It has to be Kevin. Based on the silhouette right there, it's a very pointy-edged object shaped exactly like a cube, and there's only one cube like that in the entire game, and of course, we know it's Kevin. Now, I have seen people claim that this could be some kind of a mountain, or even that it could be Polar Peak, but if you consider the location of where it is, the loading screen is at Frosty Flights. Polar Peak is not in that direction, and it's most certainly not a mountain. What mountain has those pointy ridges and is shaped like a cube? It just doesn't happen. So anyway, back to me talking about you doing your part. I've seen some people say they can see Kevin on the loading screen, and some people say they don't see it. So my question to you guys is, do you see it on your lobby loading screen? Quickly just log on to Fortnite at some point and come back to this video or just do it now. But I'm very curious to see what percentage of my fans actually see this as well. It looks like it's afflicting a pretty large number of people as far as I can tell on social media and Reddit and other sites like that. It's been talked about a lot. Even Ali A made a video about it so clearly this is gaining some traction and this is getting to be a pretty big talking point. Again, I am almost 100% confident that what we're seeing right there has to be Kevin the Cube. What else could it be? And let's make no mistake, Epic is being super intentional with what they're putting and what they're choosing to put on their loading screens. They're not just going to put that there for no reason. It clearly, clearly means something. So with that said, I'm fully convinced Kevin is making a return. Alright, so what do we know about that loading screen? We know it's at Frosty Flights, so the first thing I did is I went to Frosty, I looked over in that direction to see if there was anything whatsoever that I could find out about Kevin possibly coming. As you might expect, there is nothing there. If you look out into the distance in that same direction, Kevin's not there, you don't see him coming. But what's interesting is, if you look out in that direction, obviously you're over water. 
So could Kevin be floating to the map eventually in the same fashion the iceberg did? I mean, if you remember the iceberg, it was out there for weeks before it actually hit, before Season 7 actually started. It was a huge teaser. I'm thinking there's at least a chance this could be happening in the very same way as that. It's also worth noting that if this actually is a theory, if this is actually something we're talking about, it would be coming from almost the exact same spot as the iceberg was, at least in the same general area, the southwestern corner. I don't know about you guys, but this intrigues me heavily. I already thought there was a great chance Kevin could be returning, but at this point, I'm almost locking it down as a certain thing. I mean, obviously, I can't be completely certain that'd be absurd, but it looks almost, almost certainly like it's going to happen. I, I keep saying that word, but it's not certain. It's about 99.9% .9 confirmed based on everything. How could you not think Kevin's coming back? Including him on the loading screen in the lobby was kind of like the dagger for me. Since he's probably going to be returning, here is my one request about the cube. It was a fun thing to experience back in Season 5 and Season 6, but the one complaint I always had was it took way too long for that thing to progress. It took the better part of two entire seasons for us to get some information on what the cube was actually going to do, and clearly, we didn't even get all the information because he's coming back, he has unfinished business. This time, I would like to see Epic not waste any time, you know, get him coming back if he's going to come back, and get him going and doing something right away. Give us a clear indication as to his intent, as to what he's actually here to do, and don't let us wait around for weeks and have him roll like three or four times a day and barely creep towards his destination. I feel like everyone in my comments section around that time and basically everywhere else I saw was getting really antsy because they'd invested all this time into tracking Kevin and every time we thought it was over, something else happened. Like for example, when he finally got to Loot Lake and dissolved into the lake, we thought that was it, but no. He ripped up the island in the middle, went around to all the rune sites, and after he did that, people thought it was over. But no, he went back to the middle of Loot Lake and finally started to crack and exploded. So that's my one request. It's not like Epic's gonna watch this video anyway, but if they were to watch, I'd say let's keep it short and simple this time. Let's get to the point. I want to give you guys an update on that secret bunker, okay? So I made a video a few nights ago where I talked about that secret bunker over in the snow. Of course, it's got a huge block of ice on it, and I showed off the cracks on it because it is indeed cracking, and I first thought that the picture I used in my thumbnail was a fake picture because it was cracked way bigger than what I actually could see in the gameplay. But I actually found out that if you build some structures inside of the ice and then you break that structure that is what causes it to crack you can clearly see in the gameplay it is severely cracked like this is most likely going to shatter revealing the bunker within what they're planning to do with that bunker though remains to be seen i'm sitting here wondering to myself whether or not you know this sudden emergence of kevin has anything to do with this and if this ties together in any way with the current storyline. The timing of all of this is pretty insane. I mean, if you take a look at it, you start off with this ice breaking, and then just a few days after that, you have Kevin show up on the back of people's loading screens, for at least a lot of people. I'm really excited to see what happens in the future. Fortnite is truly one of the most innovative games out there, and this is why it's going to remain on top for years probably to come. They're constantly doing a fantastic job with the lore and the storyline and keeping people invested by having these updates and tiny little easter eggs all the time. What other developer does this at the same rate Fortnite does? I'll give you a hint, it's not many at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did I'd really appreciate it. If you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel, we're getting really close to 400k and every single one of you guys, if you're not already subscribed, it would mean the world to me, the absolute world, if you could tap that big red button and become a part of the family today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. And until then, guys, take it easy and peace out.